Hello everyone, welcome to Can Race. I'm your host Bryce Turner. Gary Clute won today's race for the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Meanwhile, Scott Steckley and Andrew Ranger tangled on the last lap while battling for the lead. Well, I'll show you that confrontation coming up with an exclusive video. But first, here's an update on a developing story. Alex LeBay was taken to hospital before today's race. There's no update on his condition, but he was taken in a personal vehicle, not an ambulance. Gary Clute won the Pinties Presents the Clarington 200. Jeff Lapsovich, J.F. Dumlin, D.J. Kennington and Scott Steckley rounded out the top five. And as this is the first race of the season, the top five in the driver standings is the same as the top five results. But note, both Lapsovich and J.F. Dumoulin are only scheduled to run part-time in this series. With your winner, Gary Clute, uh, starting off your rookie campaign with a victory, how do you feel? I mean, it feels great. It feels great. Uh, it's nothing else to say. I uh, can't thank my support enough to CTL guys and then uh, the legendary crew. All right, thank you and congratulations. Thanks, guys. With your second and third place finishers, first, Jeff Lapsovich finished second again. What are your thoughts on the race? Uh, you know, it's bittersweet. It's uh, definitely a run to be proud of. Uh, we worked really hard to get Caden's car going this week and um, might have distracted us a little from our program. But um, you know what? It's, uh, we got a great group of guys who, who work all day and night, and um, my hat's off to them. You know, and there's support from Springer's Meats and Tim Hortons and um, Cathcart Truck and Castro and Troy Corp Marine. Um, we wouldn't be here without any of those. So, um, y you know, good day. Um, Really proud of Caden. He did a great job. Didn't put a scratch in the car. Finished on the lead lap. So that was sort of the goal with him. So um, we got, uh, I think, big things ahead of, for him. So um, I'm happy to move on, get some oval racing in with him, and uh, maybe we'll try this again in September. All right, thank you. And JF Dumlin finished third best career finish. Your thoughts? Well, I'm pretty happy about it. Obviously, uh, our car. Uh, was pretty good, you know. Obviously, uh, there's some accident that happened in the front, but we were there. We're pushing hard at the end. The strategy was pretty good too, so I'm pretty happy with our finish. Zero four, Ben Mara, Daniel Crepeau. The car was great, and uh, I can't wait to go to the next one. All right, thank you. Eric Ethering finished 16th in Sunday's race, but before that, on Saturday, it was a surprise challenge at the team's holler. I'm here now with Eric Ethering where there's a surprise challenge coming up here. It's 6 o'clock in the evening on a Saturday. What can it possibly be? Do I tell you or do I keep it? I don't know. Do we have to wait for it to start? Yeah. I already heard of something about a selfie. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a massive group selfie. You know, it's a big challenge. I mean, that's the thing now, right? Selfies. <laughs> we'll try to rally up some more people. We have a few people here waiting and see what happens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Disclaimer that the following video does contain foul language as we show you what happened with Scott Steckley and Andrew Ranger following the race. Well, what am I supposed to do after you broke and drive into the back of me 20 mile hour faster and you drove every other corner? Okay, it's okay to do that. I want to do Why wouldn't I? Drive race at the end. So, so it's okay to, to drive in 20 feet farther than you did all day? Like, you're not driving 20 feet farther than you did all day? Yeah. So, you, okay. so it's okay to do that, and then you want to have a drag race? Why you came to me Because you fucking drilled me! So, so is that okay? Hey guys, hey. if I drill you, you can drill me! Like, he wrecked on the last lap while battling for the lead. What happened? Uh, we weren't really battling for the lead. I was just driving the same line I drove all day. I didn't slow down one bit, and I got taken out by the 27 car. Um, you'd think the amount of championships that guy's won, he would, uh, he'd have a wee bit more common sense and start fucking wrecking people in the last lap. You were battling for the lead last lap, wrecked. What happened? Uh, you know, we are really similar. We have a similar car. Same mistake, you know, and uh, I was trying to do something at the end. Uh, I came on the inside. Yes, it's true. I punched him a little bit, definitely. But after this, I gave him a pl uh, plenty of room to do a drag race, and he came back to me and bonsai me. 
and at the end we finish on the wall. So uh, most sport it's happened in the last corner all the time in the truck race. So I know I did a mistake, but I think at the end he did a pretty big mistake because we finished. I don't know where we finished. So nine. it's uh, nine and ten maybe. So it's uh, unfortunately for the Mopar team, but uh, we have more race to do, and uh, that's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching the post-race edition of Can Race. Be sure to tune in to pre-race for Autodrome Chaudière on Friday, June 12th. And as always, follow at NASCAR5 on Twitter and use hashtag Can Race. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.